everybody, my name's Emma. Thank you so much for coming to visit me today. Wasn't it such a lovely sunny week last week? We played outside every single day and we found lots and lots of little creatures in our garden. We saw a wiggly worm and we saw some scuttling spiders and we even saw lots of buzzy bees. And did you know, I think I might have seen one little animal jump into my story basket. Shall we have a look and see who it is? Oh, they've got white fluffy wool and four little legs and a little white fluffy tail. Do you know what it might be? It's a sheep! Oh dear, I think this little sheep might be lost. That reminds me of a story that Jesus told in the Bible about a lost sheep. Once upon a time, there was a man who had lots and lots of sheep and it was his job to look after them. He was called a shepherd and he had so many sheep. In fact, he had 100 and he had to do lots of different things to look after them. He had to lead them to all the best grass and he had to keep a watch out for danger and most importantly, he had to count them every single day to make sure they were all still there. One, two, three, four, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh no, there's one sheep missing. Oh, the shepherd was so worried about his lost sheep that he decided he must go and look for him straight away. And I think that we're going to have to go on a sheep hunt too. Are you ready? The first thing the shepherd did was to climb up a tall tree to see if he could see his sheep. Are you ready to climb? Here we go. Climb, 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 climb. And when he reached the top, he looked this way, but he couldn't see his sheep over there, so he looked that way. Oh, but he couldn't see his sheep over there either. He looked up and he looked down, but he couldn't see his sheep anywhere, so he climbed down and went to look somewhere else. The next thing he came across was a river, so he had to swim across it to get to the other side to look for his sheep. Are you ready to swim? Swim, swim, swim. And when he reached the other side, he looked this way. And he looked this way. And he looked up. And he looked down. But he couldn't see his sheep anywhere. All he could see was some long, swishy grass. So we're going to have to push our way through it. Are you ready? Push, push. Push. Wait, I can hear something. Can you hear it? It's a strange sound. It sounds a little bit like ba. Hmm. Ba. Hmm. That's a funny sound. Do you know what it might be? The shepherd crawled down into the grass and he looked around and he saw something with white fluffy wool and four little legs and a little white fluffy tail. It was his lost sheep. He was so happy when he found his sheep that he gave it a huge cuddle and he put it on his shoulders ready to carry it home safely. When he reached home, he called all of his friends and he said, quick, come, let's all have a party to celebrate my lost sheep coming home with me. Did you know, Jesus said, God is just like that. God loves us so much, just like the shepherd loved all of his sheep. And when one of us tells God that we want to be his friend, God has a huge party to celebrate us. Isn't that amazing? To know that God loves us that much and to know that if we ever feel lonely, we can always ask Jesus to be our friend. 
Thank you so much for helping me with our story. Now, I think I better get this little lost sheep back to someone who owns him. And I think I know just the little boy who that might be. I'll see you soon. Bye.